I'm going to introduce you now um, to the stage, Sir David Attenborough. I am the least qualified to be talking to you, <laughs> truly. You've been listening to people who've done things. Well, without them, we wouldn't be here, and that wouldn't be available to the people who live around here. So I feel fairly humble, really, to be asked to speak on this occasion. So perhaps I can just speak for myself, but also for the general public. Contact with the natural world isn't a luxury. Of course it's huge pleasure. Of course it's huge delight. Of course there are a lot of specialist interests. But it is actually a necessity for all of us. All we know about the natural world gives us pleasure, delight, expertise, continuous interest throughout the year, joy on many occasions, and solace on sad ones. Knowing about the natural world and being in contact with the natural world is the most precious inheritance that human beings can have. You've been listening to people saying what, what has been, they've been doing and doing it with, with humor uh, and with modesty. But they've done very, very important things for which not just you, but people all around here should be grateful. It's a huge turnaround. In my life, I've spent it in the last 60, 70 years in the natural trusts of one sort and another, and nearly always it's been this disaster, that disaster, how can we stop this further catastrophe happening? And we're losing species, we're losing land, we're losing much that is so precious. So it's marvelous to be here seeing actually the reverse, seeing actually things getting better. We should celebrate that, and we should certainly thank the people who are responsible. For me, uh, just coming here is a privilege. All you here are here because you have been involved to some degree in bringing this about. The London Wildlife Trust is a very, very important organization which is growing in power and growing in achievement day by day, month by month, year by year. We should be grateful indeed for all the work that is done to do this, to bring not just us who are already dedicated, but people all around and above all children to see the seasons as they pass to see not just asphalt and brick and concrete, but reeds and willows. To see birds coming up here from Africa. To hear above the hubbub of the traffic, birdsong. To catch a glimpse of, of a kingfisher. One of the most wonderful sights in Britain has to offer, just that flash of blue as it flies down the river. 100 years ago, 150 years ago, there was a very, very rare bird that had been persecuted for its feathers in this country and which had the most unbelievable courtship rituals, as beautiful in its way as any bird of paradise. It's out there now, the great crested grebe. 100 years ago, 150 years ago, it was rare. Now anyone, Anyone around here in spring can come and see this breathtaking sight of bird behaving in this extraordinary and beautiful way, presenting weeds to one another. It's a sight which you put on television and people say, it's fantastic, isn't it? But it's out here. So what I want to say now is no more than this. This is part of our heritage. 
This is what makes life important and living worth living. This is a source of joy and solace that everyone should have. Thanks to the people you've just been listening to and to many more out there, that is available, the heritage for anyone living around here for free. Congratulations to you all who have been heard speaking. Congratulations to all you who I know are standing here who brought this about. This is a great day. Long may it be remembered, and may there be another one like it before too long. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, David.